Knowing how to spread bed joints for block is a required skill for all masons. This is the first step in the process of constructing block corner leads or of constructing block walls. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to pick up mortar with a trowel, how to spread the block bed joint, and how to apply head joints when adding block to a wall. Always wear the right work clothes and PPE for the job, including safety glasses and work gloves to prevent skin contact with mortar. You will be using a brick trowel for picking up and spreading mortar. Pick up the trowel and place your thumb at the top of the handle. Wrap your other fingers around the handle. Using a firm and flexible grip allows you to control the trowel between your thumb and forefinger. Check the mortar before starting work. The mortar should have a plastic consistency. This is important for creating a good bond and making sure the mortar sticks to the block. Shape the mortar on the board into a steeple or loaf shape. Cut a slice of the loaf with the trowel edge and pull it to the edge of the board with a rolling motion. Slide the trowel blade under the mortar slice and lift it off the board quickly with a quick snap of your wrist. This will set the mortar on the trowel blade for laying concrete block. Lifting mortar out of a mortar pan requires a slightly different technique than for taking it off a mortar board. Notice that the mortar pile is mounded up like it was on the mortar board. Start the same way. Use the edge of the trowel to slice off a piece of mortar in the pan. Then turn the blade under the slice so mortar is loaded onto the trowel. And push the trowel towards the middle of the pan. Lift the trowel quickly out of the pan. Snap or turn your wrist gently as you lift the trowel. This will prevent mortar from falling off the trowel. In this case, we will be spreading the first or starting course, so a full block bed is needed. Spreading bed joints for block is a little different than for brick. Don't try to spread the bed over the length of more than one or two blocks until you get a little more practice. Bed joints for block should be heavy enough to support concrete block and keep the joint full of mortar. Blocks are mortared on their face shells and not on the web. Keep in mind that full bed joints and head joints are required for block when you are spreading mortar for all masonry work. Once the trowel is fully loaded, pause with the toe of the trowel resting on the outside shell of the block. Now, push down and along the edge of the block to swipe mortar off the trowel and form the bed joint. Angle the trowel blade so that the block face is not smeared with mortar. You should be able to spread the bed joint on one side of the block with one trowel of mortar. Reload the trowel with mortar and swipe or spread the inside edge of the block so the bed joint for both sides of the course is on the block below. Use the edge of your trowel to cut excess mortar from the edges of the bed. Inspect the bed to make sure it is of uniform thickness across the bed joint. The bed joint should be thick enough to support a concrete block and maintain the course height. Use your trowel to fill any empty spaces or other flaws in the bed joint. Recheck the height of the mortar course against the markings on your mason's foot rule. Remember to wash out your mortar pan and clean your trowel and other tools when you have finished the job. Spreading mortar beds for block takes practice. Start by spreading the length of one or two block and gradually increase the amount of bed joint spread to three or four block. With the right technique, you'll be laying block quickly and efficiently in no time.